live hi everyone welcome welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here please don't make it your last by subscribing if it's not your first time then thank you for coming back to watch as you can tell by the title of today's video why am i like shaking my head <laughs> as you can tell by the title of today's video we are going to be doing a productive day in my life our tests and exams are right around the corner and since i don't have any classes to attend today i decided to take a day to just get my life together catch up on any work that i'm behind and catch up on any lectures that i've missed what have i done so far i had planned to leave early in the morning with the seven o'clock shuttle but i decided that since i'm taking a whole day to be productive the least i can do is to just give a morning to myself to just be still and rest a little bit so that's what i've done so far I, mean, I did my normal morning routine which i'll have linked in the description as well as at the end of the video so now wait what time is it i think it's just before nine o'clock so oh my god the sun the sun is playing hide and seek with the clouds i'm gonna start off by making some breakfast and reading my emails because i have not been reading my emails especially my school emails and it's so important to read emails also i just want to quickly say that it's a very windy today so if you do hear some sounds in the background i apologize but there's really nothing i can do because it's so windy there's really nothing i can do to the wind to make it stop winding you know blowing <laughs> she said winding um blowing i meant so having said that let's go make some food the sun is out today but it is still very cold indoors so please don't mind the blanket around me for breakfast i am having a green smoothie made with bananas spinach chia seeds and some yogurt and i'm also going to have that with some avocado toast i love adding spinach to my smoothies as a way to incorporate eating more vegetables throughout the day I never used to like the taste of spinach in my smoothies but I found that adding a bit of peanut butter or using a flavoured yoghurt instead of milk really helps to mask the taste of the spinach. I prefer using a baby spinach over normal spinach because in my opinion I think the normal spinach has a very sour taste to it whereas baby spinach has a very subtle sour taste to it. something i want to talk about so the day before yesterday while i was waiting for my shuttle to go on to campus i met a guy and so as we were talking i found out that he was studying music and he was doing his honors in i forgot exactly what he said but it was in the music faculty and i was really fascinated by this so i started asking him a lot of questions like about what their curriculum looks like we also spoke about how they get tested and how they evaluated and so after speaking about that we also ended up speaking about why exactly he decided to pursue music as a career and actually go to school and study music and so for him he said that music has always been one of his passions and he also said that from a very young age he always knew that he was going to do music and so it was a very easy decision for him to study music and he also spoke about how supportive his family was with him um, deciding to study music So as he was speaking about being passionate about what he's doing and I started to think about myself and my life and what my passions are and whether or not I'm pursuing my passions, whether or not I even know what my passions are to begin with. <sighs> yeah. I also started to wonder what exactly success is and what does success actually mean? I started thinking, how do you measure success? How do you get to a point in your life where you see that, okay, I'm successful now? Like, what does it look like? What does success look like? How is it measured? I really don't know. I know there's this quote by Maya Angelou. She says... Success is when I, f I, f I forgot I forgot what exactly she says, but I have the the quote um, come out right now. It really got me thinking about myself and my life and where my life is headed, and 
I think also because I'm reaching the end of my degree now. Um, all I know is that God's got my back. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with me. That conversation really got me thinking. Because I was listening to this person who seemed so sure of himself. And so sure of the things that he was doing. And it just made me reflect on myself. And I definitely have some work to do <laughs> in that department. Um, let me finish my smoothie. to the library there's quite a few people on campus for a Friday afternoon and there's music playing so I'm going to the library now no I have to go to the I have to go to the office first and then I'm gonna go to the library oh god I just locked eyes with someone <laughs> okay let's go this is where I'm coming just come back on Monday wait let me sit for a bit I haven't done myself screening for the day and so I'm just gonna sit and quickly do it I'm feeling hot but it's also very windy outside this is where I'm coming hey guys I'm gonna go upstairs for a change today My laptop switched on. Where's the time? It's almost half past. laptop switched off and my phone is also battery low so I'm gonna go get something to eat and look for a place to charge Start packing up now because 
I'm getting kind of scared being the only person here. So. The moment it turns five o'clock, it starts getting cold. So I just got home, I'm going to rest a little bit and then we'll continue working later on in the evening. So I'll see you guys then. Cheating from 8 to 10. I'm gonna just try and go for as long as I can. Today I was busy with case summaries. I'm gonna try and come closer so that you guys can tell me. Today I focused mainly on summarizing my prescribed cases because during our first round of assessments I realized that I do not know any case law. I lost a lot of marks because I didn't. Is it substantiate? Um, substantiate my answers with the caseload that was applicable to the questions so I told myself that this round of exams I'm going to focus mainly on cases so for one of my modules actually the case that I was busy with today um, it's a criminal law case and it's actually a very popular case Katleho M. Marwane popularly known as Jupe Jupe here and it's his 2010 case and it's the case involving i don't know if i'm allowed to say explicit words on youtube so i'm not gonna um, say what case it is but it's a criminal case so you can do some research on your own what happened to jupe jupe in 2010 um so we're doing that case i actually vaguely remember um seeing this matter in the news and I kind of wish I'd paid more attention to the case as it was happening. I'm gonna stop talking now and get to work. Where's my phone? Oh, yeah. Yo, it's already Saturday. Oh. Yes, the time. <sighs> that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you're probably going to like my other videos as well. So please don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Like this video and leave a comment if you have anything to say and please share it if you want other people to watch it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video